Hey everybody, I was on my way to go get my other marked for death word for my shout and go grab the diadem of the savant and I noticed we had Honey Strand Cave here and there's a skill book in there and a few bear pelts. Uh, not just a spare out front, but there will be two when we get inside. As opposed to the bear cave that was over there at the foot of the 7,000 steps that had one bear out front and one inside, this one has two inside. But it's basically the same thing. It's just a cave. Just a little one-room cave with a chest in it and a dead bandit. And a skill book. So seeing as I still need pelts for Temba to do her little favor for her. What does this put me in like? Oh wow, I thought I had at least four or five. Oh well, I got a ways to go. Oh, I'll get two more out of this cave here, so I'll be halfway there. And I'm sure to run into more bears around Riften should I go to explore. Uh, see these beehives? You can loot them for alchemical ingredients. And there's bees flying around. You can snatch them out of out of uh, midair. Okay, let's get in here. Let's aggro these two bears, but hopefully not aggro them too much. Oh, well, he wasn't trying to hear it, was he? Yeah, okay, one bite, I lose half my health. Okay, I'm leaving. And you're chasing me. <laughs> Alrighty. Help! He's trying to eat my face. Alright. Notice I gave them the glow from my Mark for Death shout. The single word by itself, like I say, isn't going to do a whole lot. It will break down their, I, I believe, their armor rating a little bit over time. But nothing like the two words and certainly nothing like the three words put together. The full March for Death shout is just, wow, awesome stuff. I might as well go ahead and grab a soul while I'm here. I forget if bears are lesser or common. I think they're lesser. I think cave bears are common. And these are... These might be common. If so, then the cave bears are greater. I don't think so. I don't know. Alright, get their pelts. And this guy has a skill book on him. Lock picking? Okay. I'll take that. Some other random stuff. Nothing else of note in here. That I'm aware of anyway. Set these imp stools right here. Okay. Now, on my way up to get the diadem, I'm sitting here looking at the tower where the dragon is, and I was pointing at the dragon right there. I don't know if you could see him. And now, over here between Froki's house and the dragon is a trail that leads behind that mountain, and there are a bunch of Draugr and another dragon back there. And I mean major Draugr, like Scourges and Death Lords and things like that. And I'll be heading up there, actually. It'd be a great place to test out my, my uh, second tier of my shout. Okay, now down here, that was Froki's house right there, his little shack. Right here, on this wood uh, chopping block, is the Diadem and the Savant. Now this is a really, really cool item. This is the only circlet that I know of, anyway, that counts as armor. Oh wow, I had a chain of one-handed that I made a long time ago, never put on. Okay, notice it says light armor, and it has an armor rating of 8. You can't upgrade it. It, it is what it is. But uh, if you'll also notice, down there, my armor went from 92 to 125 instead of 92 to 100. Okay? Now what that means is, even though that thing says light armor, it counts as heavy armor for me, because I'm working up the heavy armor skill tree. And I have this perk unlocked where you get a 25% armor bonus if you wear heavy armor on, you know, head, hands, chest, feet. Okay, well, this says light armor, but let me take it off. Puts me down at 92. It says 92 plus 8 would be 100, but it puts me at 125. 25 is a solid 25% of 100. So I'm getting that bonus for wearing this thing. So apparently this thing counts towards heavy armor and light armor because I've worn light armor characters and I go grab that because I don't like the way helmets look. I've never really liked helmets on my characters. And uh, I know that it works for the light armor also. 
because light armor has a similar bonus, 25% bonus if you wear all light armor. Anyway, so that that is a, uh, a hybrid item that it works for both, heavy and light armor. Just FYI, if you're like me and you're not a big fan of helmets, but uh, you would like uh, something to give you that little extra bit of armor bonus, then this is for you. Because I think the circle looks okay, although I wish it was in silver, personally, but uh, or black. But that's fine. An ebony circuit, circlet, of course, or, uh, oh, what do they call it? Maybe moonstone circlet? All right, let me show you where I'm at on the map. Although it's really, really hard to see here. Um, okay. Right up here is Honey Strand Cave, and there's Iverstead, where you go up to 7,000 steps. I'm almost just due south of that. Okay, and just to the west of me is uh, the castle where the dragon's at. All right, if you like this, uh, click the top left box for another video. Uh, the bottom box for my full playlists, and right there at the top is a subscribe button if you want to subscribe. And I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.